All right, hey, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm Security Researcher here on YouTube. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to form a deep, meaningful relationship with the federal government. Actually, this is not a how to do that video. Um, uh, my intention here is not to uh, show you how to uh, form that relationship. My intention here is to inform everyone as to some of the threats that we face because of our cellular phones and wireless devices like tablets. So one of the things that you need to be aware of out in the world today are things like Stingray, uh, MC Catchers, uh, and a device called Fem2Cell. Uh, this is actually a Fem2Cell sent to me by my uh, mobile service provider. I have taped over the name. Hopefully you can't see through that tape. Uh, I've done what I can to tape it over. I think there's three or four tape pieces of tape on it. Um, so what can be done with this device? First of all, what's in this box? Uh, this is actually just the outer sleeve because it's easier for me to deal with. Um, the reason that these devices are sent out is if you are in an area that has poor service connectivity. Um, they usually send these out to help people that have uh, connection issues to provide themselves with a way to connect. These are essentially mini cell phone towers. They do have a limited range. Um, the intention here is that you connect this device to your uh, high-speed internet and then it routes your calls over the internet to them so that they can pass it on to whoever you're trying to call. So here's what it looks like from the front. Um, on the front of it, we have indicator lights for power, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, USB 2.0, USB 3.0, um, an internet connectivity indicator, and then activity indicator lights for ports 1, 2, 3, and 4 because it is a router as well. Uh, on the top of it, there are connection ports for antennas. It uses three. Those are here. So here are the three antennas that it uses. On the back of it, uh, we have a series of buttons and ports. Uh, this is a reset button, a power button. This is your power jack. USB 2.0, USB 3.0. This is for your uh, data connection. So if you have DSL or cable, uh, this would come off of your router um, or maybe your modem directly, depending on how you want to set it up. Um, this is the LED on off button. So you don't have a Christmas tree lighting up your room. And then these are your four jacks for the router. Um, you would plug additional computers into here. How can this be used for various purposes? Its original intention is to be installed in one location, um, hooked up to your data port, and then it basically, if it moves from that location, the service provider can deactivate it. Um, that's if you use it in its standard configuration. Um, if you were to hook up a sniffer to this port here, um, you can collect a lot of data as it passes on to the internet uh, straight out of this jack. To really gain access to the capabilities of this device, you need to get inside of it. Uh, these devices are designed to self-destruct if you do try to go into it. It's not going to blow up on you or burn up, but it will disable itself if you try to get inside of it. That isn't to say that you can't. I don't intend on telling you how to do it, and I'm not going to claim that I know how to get into this device. Um, but it can be uh, used for other purposes. So, what can it be used for? What can it do? If you were to take a rotary tool and cut this extra piece of plastic off, so run a rotary tool right along here and cut this extra piece of plastic off, and you hooked up a battery to provide it with power, and you hooked up the antennas, and you hooked up a laptop to it, you would essentially have about an inch and a half to two inch thick all the way around uh, device that could easily fit inside of a briefcase, a duffel bag, a gym bag, a backpack. Um, you could essentially walk through uh, a crowded street and collect information off the phones that are within approximately 30 feet of you. Um, you could bring this into an office building and use it to access the phones that are nearby. Cell phones will connect to whatever tower is strongest. So whatever has the best chance of providing a good signal strength, it will try to connect to. Some of the things that you can do once a device connects to a compromised device like this, an MC catcher or a Stingray. Um, actually, no, I won't say that Stingray can do it because they don't like people talking about it. So I will just say, uh, for all intents and purposes, a Stingray device can't do what I'm about to say. Um, but if you were to connect to this, uh, a compromised version of this to a cell phone 
or an MC catcher to a cell phone, you can activate the microphone when the person's not on the phone to monitor what's going on around it. You can turn on the camera. You can listen to live calls. You can see the text messages being sent to and from the device. Um, you can install malware onto the phone. You can install spyware onto the phone. So once they get out of range of these devices, uh, you can use its normal internet connections to continue to monitor the activities of that phone. Um, you can also um, install um, computer virus the a computer virus that uses the phone as the deployment platform so when you take and you plug your phone in to update your music or to charge the the phone it will use that connection to then deploy the virus directly onto your computer i am actually going to do a review of a product that helps stop that later um, but those are just some of the things that are possible with a device like this so you need to think about um, the threats this isn't just a government thing most of us are not concerned about the government spying on us maybe you are um, but the vulnerabilities that are in our cell phones and tablets aren't just for the group of people that have been given the keys to the city other people do have the skills to pick those locks so our devices can be used against us and it's time that we start recognizing that and take precautionary measures um, so there you go. That's a little bit about these devices. Um, and now you know a little bit more about MC catchers, uh, not necessarily about stingrays because remember stingrays can't do all of this. Uh, there's non-disclosure agreements with everyone as to how they work. So stingrays can't do this. Um, take that with a grain of salt. Um, I'm a security researcher. I do appreciate you clicking on this video. Please share this video with your friends and family. Please hit the subscribe button below. And I thank you for the last 6 minutes and 50 seconds of your life.